everyone and welcome to another Make It Monday. I'm Sarah with Beyond Fabric and today we're going to show you how to make an easy market tote bag featuring a panel block. So if you have panels at home that you have no idea what to do with, make sure to continue watching this video and check out our other panel videos in this playlist here. So let's get started with making our market tote bag. You will need a panel for the front and a panel block for the back. So we have that cut and that is going to be 11 and a half by 11 and a half. If you have a smaller block that you want to use, just make your side pieces a little larger. So your side border is going to be cut five inches by 11 and a half. And you have two of those for each side. So we need four total. And then for your top piece, it's going to be cut three inches by 20 and a half. And you need two of those. Now, because we are using quilt weight cotton and this is going to be a tote bag, we will need to stabilize this. So you are going to cut some fusible interfacing. A mid weight works fine. Uh, that is going to be cut 13 and three quarters by 20 inches. So this is the actual size after we piece our panel and our borders together for what the front part of our bag will be and the back part of our bag. So if you just want to use any kind of fabric, just a solid piece of fabric, then cut that for your top piece for your front and for your back piece at 13 and 3 quarters high by 20 inches. If you're using home deck or upholstery, you do not need to interface it. If you want to add a pocket inside, we have a video that'll show how to do a welt pocket. So you will need a piece of fabric for that. This has been interfaced already and it is 10 inches by 20 inches. And you will need a zipper, at least a seven, nine or nine inch zipper for that. Um, I'm using a nine inch, I like a little bit extra. Um, and then for the bottom of your bag, you will need a piece that is cut 12 inches by 20 inches. Now on our bottom of our bag, it is a home deck upholstery fabric, so we do not need to stabilize it. If you are using a quilt weight cotton, you will need to stabilize it. And then for our liner, we have 19 and three quarters by 37 and three quarters. So here is our lining. And then for your straps, we have a one and a half inch webbing. This is going to be cut 27 inches long and you need two straps. Let's start by piecing that panel and the borders together. So to begin with, you need to take your panel block and one of your side borders and you are going to place them right sides together and using a quarter inch seam allowance, sew straight down. Repeat for the other side. Press these seams over to the dark side and then we will attach the top border. So now that we have our seams pressed over to the dark side, we need to attach the top border. So stitch those right sides together using a quarter inch seam allowance. Now that we have the top border attached, we need to press that also to the dark side. And then we need to square this up to 20 inches wide by 13 and three quarters high. Then we need to fuse that piece of interfacing to the back that was already cut at 13 and three quarters by 20. And repeat all of this for the other side of your bag. So we have our front panel and our back panel that has the borders attached and has been squared to 20 inches by 13 and three quarters. They have been uh, fused with the fusible interfacing. Now we need to attach our bottom. So our bottom piece will be folded upright here, right sides together. And we're gonna stitch across the bottom there and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side 
making sure that you have your right sides facing up. So right sides are together. This will be one side, that will be the other, and you're going to sew straight across the bottom using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So now we have attached our front panel and our back panel to the bottom of our bag. So the outside of our bag is ready to go. And now you need to do your lining. This is the opportunity to go ahead and add your welt pocket if you choose. If so, check out this video here. If not, this is a quick and easy market bag. So let's continue and get this lining sewn up. To get this bag put together, we need to attach our straps to each side. So with our bag, we have 20 inches, so we need to find the middle. So the middle would be 10 inches over. And from there, we're gonna go over four inches. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to clip it in place and do the same thing with the other side of the handle. So now we have it clipped in place as to where we're going to stitch these. We're going to base them, so going a quarter inch from the edge and stitch across both of those. Repeat this for the other side. Now that we have our straps basted in place, we need to sew up the side seams. So where the bottom and the top meet, we're going to have one fold down and one seam fold the opposite direction. Now to ensure that these match up, we're going to stitch right here first, just so that they are overlapped on top of each other before we sew straight down. This ensures that they will match and meet. We will be using a 3 8 inch seam allowance to sew the sides. So we have our seams sandwiched. We're gonna put a clip. And to ensure that they stay meeting, we're going to just stay stitch right over the two before sewing the seam. We're gonna repeat that on both sides. That's just to ensure that it matches up perfectly. Now using a 3 8 inch seam allowance, sew down the entire length of your sides. over to the side and we will do the lining and then we'll do the corners of both bags at the same time. So grab your lining and again we're sewing straight down both sides using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. You may have caught that the lining size is a little bit smaller than the, um, the outer bag size and the reason why it's a quarter inch shorter in width and height so that it fits inside without giving extra baggage. Before you sew up that second side of the lining of your bag, you need to make sure you leave a hole so that we can flip it. So go ahead and mark an area big enough that you can flip the bag through. And now stitch it up. the liner has been sewn with a hole left in it so we could flip it. So now let's go gusset our corners. 
In order to gusset our corners, we need to begin by clipping off that excess fabric right there, just to the seam. Now you have an invisible seam that runs along the bottom here, and then you have this seam along here. You're gonna take the bottom seam and this top seam, and you're going to basically match them up on top of each other. So open up that side seam flat, finger press it open, and you're lining it up with that bottom seam. We are going to do a five inch gusset. So we're going to go two and a half inches over from the middle. So this is where you'll make any adjustments. So it's nice and even. So here's our middle here. So we need to go over two and a half inches on each side. So we are even here and two and a half meets on the edge here and two and a half meets on the edge there. So we are good. Draw a line across the bottom. This is where you will sew. Put some clips or pins to hold it in place and repeat this for all corners for the liner and the outer. marked and we're going to stitch right on the line. Back stitch, start and stop. gusseted. We're going to trim off this excess for all of them and then sandwich our bag and our liner together to finish this up. Now that those corners have been clipped off, go ahead and take your outer bag and flip it right side out. Make sure your handles are on the outside part of your bag. Next, take your liner and you are going to sandwich your outer part of your bag into your liner. Make sure the handles stay on the outside just like that. You're going to match up the top, your side seams here, you can press open and sandwich those on top of each other. And you're going to stitch all the way around the top of the bag using a 3 8 inch seam allowance.
slip stitched all the way around the top. We did back stitch and reinforce where those straps were. Now you're going to flip it to the right side out through the hole that you left. So grab your bag and start pulling it through. we can take and fold those raw edges in where that hole is and stitch straight across over the top of it closing that hole or you can hand whip stitch it closed. So now we have our hole in our liner closed go ahead and push it into your bag and then take it to the iron and press it along that top, but make sure to use a press cloth near your nylon strapping or your polypro strapping so that you do not burn it and melt it. Now that you have your bag all pressed nice and crisp up at the top, you can either top stitch along the edge or you can go gift it or use it. Thank you so much for joining us for another Make It Monday. We hope you enjoy your new quick, easy market tote bag featuring a panel. Remember, if you would like to do the optional zippered welt pocket inside, please check out the video here. And again, if you have panels that you have no idea what to do with, check out that playlist here. We hope to see you again. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, subscribe here on our YouTube channel so you get notified every time we put up a new video. See you next time.